This is the final lesson of the whole administration panel. In this lesson, we are going to work on the user updating their about message. So it's just basically a profile page. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to have a button right here that says my profile and it takes the user to their profile. So let's just go right now to our layout file, app.blade.php, and we're going to have to open up the nav bar. So you can see here we have logout, right? We don't want to have only logouts. We also want to have profile. So I'm just going to copy this, but I'm not going to have the whole on click JavaScript thing. Just going to delete all of that. And the href is going to go to users dot edit profile so that the user can edit their profiles. And this is going to be my profile so that they can edit their text. So right now, if I refresh, this route does not exist so we have to create it so i'm going to go to the web.php and i'm just going to create a route and this is going to be a get to the users slash profile and this is going to go to the users controller at edit and i'm going to give this a name of users dot edit profile okay so this name has to be exactly the name we precise in our view. So if I refresh, great. So if we view there, we have the my profile link. So we probably want to put my profile above just so that it looks a little bit normal, right? Refresh, check it out again. Great. So let's go to the users controller and make sure we create the edit method. So I'm just going to say edit. And here I'm just going to return view users dot edit. I'm just going to come right here. We probably want to actually pass the user, right? So I was thinking we're just going to use the user, but here we can just pass the user directly with user. And this is going to be auth user because only the authenticated user can edit their profile. So resources, views, then users, and then we're just going to add edit.blade.php just going to copy everything in the home and paste right here. So this is the dashboard, probably nothing much. So if I come right now, click on profile, great. It shows dashboard you are locked in. What we want to do is we don't want all of this container. All we want is just this refresh and great. So now we can say my profile and here we can display a form for the user to update their profile. So if I refresh, we have my profile. So now this is going to be a form and the action is going to be a route that we create. So route is going to be users dot update profile. Okay. And then the method for this form is going to be post. You want to make sure of that. And then you want to also make sure you provide the CSRF token. Okay. And then since it's going to be a put endpoint, we're going to make sure that we say the method is put and we want to have a form group and this is going to have a label for name and this is going to have name right here. So we want to have an input the form control, the type is going to be text, the name is going to be name and don't forget the name is really important. And then here we're going to have ID of name so that it matches the label and the value finally is going to be the authenticated user's name. So it's going to be user name. Okay. And then remember we need for the about text. So we're going to have form group label for about and the label is going to be about me. And then we're going to have a text area dot form control the name is going to be about id is going to be about and we probably want to just give this as five columns and in case the user has an about text we're just going to have user about right there next thing we just need a button so we're just going to have a dot a button dot button dot button success and this is going to be update profile 
awesome so if i refresh great of course we haven't registered this route so let's go ahead and make sure we register that route in the web.php so we're gonna say route post user slash profile oh yeah this has to be a put right so route put since we're updating and this is going to go to the users controller add update method and the name is going to be users dot update profile so if you refresh this view right now great everything looks fine so looks like the button is not fine so i think probably i've messed up the button class yeah so it's supposed to be button success awesome so probably you want to make this a type of submit okay because in some browsers if you don't put type of submit it's not going to submit the form awesome so it looks like we're good to go then we need to implement the method for handling this form so we're going to go to the users controller and create a public function updates and since we already know it's authenticated user we're going to say user equals auth user okay then let me just show you something right now i'm going to make a custom request and this is going to be users slash update profile request and then i'm going to inject that request here so update profile request i'm going to get the request so i'm going to go to that request and just make sure the authorize is true for any authenticated user and i'm going to make sure the name is required then the about is required and that's it so right now if we come back looks like everything is fine in our controller what we're gonna do is we're gonna say user update name and this is going to be request name and the about is going to be request about and we also want to flash right so i'm just going to copy this flash and i'm just going to say user updated successfully and finally i'm just going to redirect the user back to the same page so here we're going to have return redirect back awesome so we need to make the about field in the user model fillable so that the mass assignment issue is not going to pop up so that's it it looks like we're actually done if i click on update profile we're redirected back to this page because validation fails so we need to come to our edit.blade.php and to see validation errors i'm just going to include the partial that we have so include and this is going to be partials dot errors so click on that again and you can see the about field is required so I'm just going to copy some really beautiful lorem ipsum text right here for the user. Then I'm just going to paste that in the about field. Then update profile. You can see profile updated successfully and that's the about text. So a user can now update their profile information. And I think that's it for the admin panel guys. I've done my best, right? I've shown you all the tricks that you ever need to be able to create a perfect CMS. Right, so this is a content management system that you can give to your users to be able to manage the applications. We've handled all edge cases. We've handled images. We've handled image deletes. We've handled trashing posts. We've handled everything you can think about, guys. So in the very next lesson, we're going to start displaying the data on the front end. Okay. Thank you so much.